Vicious attack on a Moreno Valley student inspired an anti-bullying protest this morning. Parents let their kids skip class and ditch for Diego, they called it, as the 13-year-old continues to fight for his life. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with a look at it. Tina? Suzanne, many of the people who are taking part in this protest admit they don't know the 13-year-old boy who's still in the hospital this morning, but they say they wanted to do something to make sure no one else is hurt like him. Students stood outside Moreno Valley High School this morning trying to spread the message that bullying will not be tolerated. Stop bullying! Earlier this week, a 13 year old named Diego was assaulted at his middle school by two fellow students. Isabel Padilla doesn't know Diego, but says it's devastating to see video of the attack. I was in tears. Because, like, what if that happened to all one of us? Padilla's had her own run-ins with bullies, and even though she reported it, she says the school district didn't do much to protect her. I'm tired of it because, like, even at my own school, I don't feel safe. The district had a meeting with parents Wednesday night to address concerns about bullying, but parents tell us they didn't feel like they heard any concrete solutions. Everything was a lie. We already had that same meeting in March. There was the same word, the same thing. Now we have a child in ICU. Padilla hopes ditching for Diego will force the district to finally make some changes. They're making money for us being there. But if we're out here, then they'll probably do something about it. That's why some parents supported these students skipping class today. This is for a cause. It's a one day event. Um, it's not a whole week vacation. So this is not like they're ditching just to go and have fun. This is ditching to support our kids that they do have a voice. Now, the district sent us a statement saying students belong in class and that there are more appropriate ways to have this discussion. They say they are putting together a meeting so everyone's voices can be heard.